What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Rocky.com Drag Show Chase Lord Story Finders, or GSTF2 for short. It's the new show, and today we are doing, this is from the Transformers Vault Season 13, Episode number 14, and this is the show where we try to answer the question, is it difficult to transform? Today we're going to try to answer that question, talking about this fembot. This is, of course, Transformers, I believe, Revenge of the Fallen? Uh, this is not Revenge of the Fallen, but this is um, Deluxe Class. RC, uh, yeah, he or she came with one accessory. I'm not. I'm just gonna put that away. But yeah, let's um, let's let's just double check. So I've looked it up, and apparently this is Transformers 2007 movie, Deluxe Class Autobot RC. So that's um, okay, fine, what else? But uh, yeah, let's just get right to transformation. I think. So she has a projectile, and then this part, I think, some there's like um, this one becomes a crossbow kind of thing. You can plug this in here in the back. There it is. Oh, nice! But it won't it it it, it, it won't do it. But yeah, that that's fine. Um, let's just get right to transformation now. Obviously, those are the arms, and those are the fists. I don't even know uh, what what. Um, Transformers 2007 movie Deluxe Class RC looks like uh, in robot mode so I'm just gonna get something to reference there's her head okay it looks like she's gonna have legs and like the chromia I, I looked at the chromia as you guys know and that one just looks very different oh wow this, this actually I, I think this is actually going to become a really nice looking robot Fembot and um, so where does this go? Uh, it, it all goes to the back. Hold this in, I suppose, and all the way to the back. And then we want to separate the arms. Oh, it, they're both connected to this crossbow thingy, which again, unfortunately, it doesn't work doesn't work for us that's very unfortunate cool i'll be ready soon so that's unfortunate but anyway but but otherwise this robot mode is so much better than the chromia one that i looked at i think that one is a revenge of the fallen chromia that's why i thought this was revenge of the fallen so but this is not actually revenge of the fallen that's actually a very well <laughs> that's an ugly head but uh that's that's another thing oh and that splits up oh wow nice and then how does it work there you go there you go nice 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 all around oh wow oh these Maybe can fold three or something? yeah swing starts at three And, and and that's that's pretty much it. That's that's a very nice. That's the first. I'm I'm always afraid of motorcycle bots. They always it, it's always hard to transform a motorcycle bot, almost always into a into a robot. But this one kind of worked very easily. But uh, well, I guess the question now is transforming her back into robot mode and will. Alt mode, sorry, I keep, I keep messing them up because these guys, are, I got them in alt mode and I I usually get them in robot mode and transform to alt mode. But anyway, so it's usually more difficult to transform from robot to alt mode, especially for motorcycle bots. But yeah, um, but I mean, otherwise, this this figure looks great. Um, yeah, I, I like much better than the Chrome, yeah. But yeah, buddy, you were gonna say something? Um, I thought, I, um, so, so, so it's really hard to transform from robot to alt mode for motorcycle bots and panel for us, so it's extra hard for the motorcycle bots and the panels. Yeah. So, yeah, and then you, you can plug that in there just so she has a oh, armor and a crossbow type thingy. Oh, yeah. that one connected, finally. So that's, that's pretty cool. The not so cool part about this is probably the head, but that's the formers for you. It's, it's, it's um, symmetrical. Yeah, it's I know. Kind of looks cool, actually. Yeah, they, they they could have put some light piping or maybe. Oh wow, I just fired the missile. But uh, uh, yeah, and then um, maybe it should have light piping. Yeah, it does have a little bit of it, but it's it's hard to see because it's dark. 
Oh, wow. Okay, let's just unplug. Unplug this already. All right, and transform her back into alt mode, which is probably a more difficult transformation. Go ahead. Close that up. And then we are going to... Okay, so I ran out of battery there. Sorry about that. We're gonna... I was gonna say we're gonna transform her now into... Or actually, yeah, let, let's get her back into... Into her robot mode. So I don't know if you guys who are watching this live, you can see who that is. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm streaming this like a week ago. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's let's just transform her back into her alt mode. Should be quick. I hope. We've never done a time the same Yeah, we never. Maybe we should do that. Aren't we doing that? Yeah, but we should do it like more and more. Oh, okay. You yeah, okay? Hey, how does this work? How does this work? Okay, I'm I'm having a hard time here. Hey, bud. Yeah. Just leave that wherever. I will need it. Okay, how does this work? Okay, everything goes there, and this will go there. This thing will go down like so. This thing will fold in. And there's the kickstand. I think that's what that's called. Okay, and then this is going to go like that. And there is the sign. I don't even know yet which one goes where. The sign. I mean the um, where it. Oh, there, there. It will go there. Oh, pretty cool. There it is. There's a peg there. Peg that in. Rotate this, um, and then it'll peg in there somewhere. Okay, so we, we have a little bit of a problem here. I don't know how to bring this down. Oh, I guess that there it is. And now we just, yeah, okay. Let's peg those two panels in. Again, it, it's such a nice, uh, it's a much better alt mode, I mean, for a motorcycle robot compared to others I've looked at in the past. Oh, and look at that. Man, that's pretty cool. Not realistic. I mean, how even does that work in real life? But it is what it is. We're gonna have to tab in those two, basically the two things together. Yep. And that's, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, now what? So, uh oh, these are not. You're gonna rotate them. There you go. And then this thing just will go on there and connect the arms together. And anyway, yeah, it's it's a very nice and easy transformation. Not like many um, motorcycle bots. This one, I like it a lot. Oh, it, it won't stand. There it is. Almost. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Oh, it, it won't stand up. Something's not right. There. You see that it's not lining up. It, it won't stand. So something's not right. I think you're bending the kickstand too much. You need to bend it enough so that it, it has... There you go. Yeah, you're right. So there, there it is. Um, when you plug this in here, this one doesn't really connect. Nope. Oh, there you go. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that being said, that is about it for this yes. episode of Ronji.com's Garage Shale Transform So Wayfinders. Finders. Oh, GSTF It's the new show. Once again, this is from the Transformers Vault, Season 13, Episode Number 14. And this is the show where we try to answer the question, Is it difficult to transform? And today we try to answer that question talking about this fembot. This is Transformers 2007 movie, Deluxe Class RC. The answer to that question obviously is a no. It's, it's my, I think it's my favorite motorcycle bot very simple transformation uh yeah but yeah we hope you like this episode and if you did don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe also please follow us on the social media channels we're on patreon facebook twitter and instagram last but not least please share this video with your friends your family your loved ones, and everybody you know including your enemies because they might start to like you again as alfonso's prime would always say and until next time 
Autobots rev up and roll out.